It's Monday. That's just embarrassing. 12.42 p.m. I'm at home in my PJs. We are working this week, but we are working from home because there has been a slight rise in COVID cases in Washita Parish, the parish that we live in. So the leadership at our church did the smart thing, sent the employees home to work from home for the week while they have our offices cleaned. So yeah, we're working from home this week. Should be fun, but I would imagine the vlog will be very boring this week just because, I mean, how interesting can me working from home really be? Also, uh, running kind of short on cash this week, so not gonna be making a whole lot of trips to Dro either. Brace yourself for a lot of coffee made here in the apartment and a lot of this, me just talking. Yeah, it's gonna... Also, there's a hurricane coming through, so I can't really go for a run. Yeah, Kaylee went to go for a run and uh, it started raining almost immediately. So she came back inside and just started running the stairs of the building. I'm not doing that. It's effective. I'm not doing it that. It is effective. I'm not doing that. I think you could. I'm not doing Take that. Take camera. I'm not doing that. <laughs> It is, uh, it's broadcast to rain pretty much all day. Look, see those clouds? Those are like nasty rain clouds. What I'm hoping is that the rain will hold off for just a couple of minutes because this is honestly the nicest it's looked today. I'm gonna try to go for a run. I'm probably gonna get really wet, but I'm gonna try anyways because I felt so good after yesterday's run. I'm like, ah, I gotta, I gotta do it again. It's such a good feeling, gotta do it again. Here's a really important thing that I, I kind of learned the hard way the other day on my run. It is like crazy, wildly important to use the bathroom before you go for a run. Like if you got a tinkle, you do that before you leave the house because once you're out there, you're out there. Fun fact for you, if you're getting into running, use the bathroom before you go. It, you, you'll thank me later. These headphones are definitely about to break. You see that? I have no idea how many more workouts I'm gonna get out of these, but I love these headphones. Very possible I'll turn around and buy another pair shortly after these break. It's possible. I'm about to start this run. This could be an absolutely horrible mistake. It's starting to drizzle just a little bit. Drizzle is not bad, but with it being this chilly outside with drizzle, that could be bad. Probably not gonna film much of this run. Really trying to focus. I want this one to be good. I want it to be strong, so. I'll film a little bit, but not much. All right, that's it. That's it. Eight one minute intervals with 60 second intervals or one minute intervals in between. And then one final 30 second, just hard sprint at the end. Ah, I feel good. I really, I'm not just saying that. I feel good. I feel, I'm proud. I'm very proud. That was a, uh, not a very long run, but a fast run. Feels good just to get my time down a little bit because I'm running like really slow miles right now, but yeah, pretty short run. Honestly, I probably could have kept going. I could have made that a longer run, but I've still got work I gotta get done. And I didn't really like break for lunch at any point today, so this is technically my lunch break. Also, celebrating with some, uh, celebrating with some orange juice. This is my love language, by the way, orange juice. It's true, ask Kaylee. I've reached, I have reached peak multitasking, multitasking level 1000. That's exporting and making a quesadilla for my, for my kind of late lunch. It's pre, it's like pushing to a clock. So it's kind of, kind of a late lunch. It's now like 3.50 p.m. I'm very concerned about the interestingness and the sustainability for the vlog over the course of the next couple of days. It's just not gonna be very interesting. It's going to be a lot of this. I think I'm gonna make another coffee.
come at me. Come at me. Just overfilled this on accident. I didn't mean to, but I need a, I need a, I gotta put that right there. I need a uh, paper towel to wipe the bottom of this. I don't want to destroy this cup. I just made a, oh, come on, you stupid. Just made a huge mess with the, uh, the coffee there. I forget that this cup is a little bit smaller than the other cups that I typically drink from, so I just overfilled it with the AeroPress. Just to give a little bit of context as to why getting coffee on the bottom of this cup is bad. This is a cup by the company Ember. It's actually an electric coffee cup. I know it sounds incredibly bougie, but trust me, when you have one, it makes a world of difference. This cup is designed to keep my coffee hot. Uh, it charges like a phone or a pair of headphones or something. And it keeps my coffee at a very specific temperature. You can get it wet on the outside. It's just, it's not really advised. Really don't want this coffee cup to get ruined. This was a Christmas gift for my very loving wife and I love it very much and I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin it. Do you guys remember, do you remember the other day I said that it had kind of been a stressful morning so far because of our youngest cat, June. She's the newest addition to our cat. We only have two cats, but she's the newest. Anyway, I actually talked plenty in that little segment about why it was so stressful and why I was so frustrated, but I didn't put a lot of that in the vlog because it felt unnecessary. And for the most part, I try really hard to avoid negativity in the vlog, but we just had another little, we'll call it an incident. June got, June, Kaylee's trying to take a bath and June fell into Kaylee's bath. She got soaking wet and then Kaylee was trying to dry her off and then Kaylee gave her to me to try to dry off. She was clearly really agitated at Kaylee for whatever reason. And then I tried to dry her off. And when she's in one of these moods, I'm kind of the last person she wants to be around. So she like start growling and I'm just trying to like calm her down and I'm trying to stay calm as well. And then she starts like hissing at me, like aggressively hissing at me. And, and like that's when I, that's when I lose, that's when I lose control. That's when I get, Kaylee's in there with her right now with a towel, still trying to get her dried off and just trying to calm her down and trying to calm the whole situation down. I needed to go check the mail anyways, so I left the apartment for a minute to go check the mail and just kind of take a breather. Funny enough, I actually considered going for another run. Who runs twice in one day? I thought about it, I really did. That's pretty much it. I'm just... Hi. Um, okay. Hang on, let me set this up. Put you about like that. So, uh, I'm in our bathroom. If the audio quality isn't great, that's why. It's now, uh, it's now 9.22 p.m. Uh, and the vlog's gonna end here. Let me explain. So, in the last clip, I said that, uh, things were kind of stressful in the Winkler household with our cat, June. That was that was pretty fresh when I shot that little clip. So after I turned the camera off, I needed to go and uh, discuss that with Kaylee, basically. And we talked for a while, just kind of needed to sort out some, some details about that. And for obvious reasons, that is just wildly inappropriate to put into a vlog. So I didn't film any of that. I didn't film anything really. Uh, I, I just, I, I haven't filmed anything else for the remainder of the day. I felt it was really important that I at least end the vlog the way I typically end them, but I also wanted to give a little bit of clarity as to why there wasn't any more footage. You know, sometimes life, you know, life happens and that takes precedent over this. Uh, my marriage, my friendship, my families, those things will always take precedent over this. I love this vlog. I love the people that watch these vlogs, but I also trust that you understand. So, but before I end the vlog, I did want to show you uh, a real quick something that I shot just a couple minutes ago on my phone. I left the apartment for a few minutes, turned around, uh, was headed back, and I saw this. What happened to that building? I'm, 
I'm driving home. Hang on. What on earth? This, the whole second floor of this building is collapsed. I run past this building like every single, this is along the path that I run. This is every single day. I'll cut to, do you remember this part of the Hurricane Laura vlog where I showed that like half of this building had collapsed? Oh my gosh. That used to be a building. The other, like the, hang on. So that's the building. Here's my flashlight. That top portion, I don't know if you can see, but all those like, all those like timbers up there, that used to be the second floor of that building. I'm, I'm at a complete loss. I drove by this building just like two hours ago. Anyways, this is the end of this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, what you doing? What you doing, little bean? Hmm? Come here. You come say hello to the vlog. You come say hello to the vlog. See, she's a sweetheart, like ninety percent of the time. But every now and again, she gets real spicy. It's not fun for anybody. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all those fun things. You guys are fantastic. And I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. for another, what I would imagine will be a pretty boring episode. Just because it's, you know. I'll see you guys tomorrow, 4 p.m. I'll see you there.